Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is still Tuesday, June the 22nd. And happy summer to all of you. And I so hope it means we're going home now. <laughs> oh, pray that your flight be not in the winter. Well, I'm not sure that's talking to us. Anyway, it's 1.17 p.m. Okay, here we go. Listen up. This is exciting. I found this message um, on 444 Prophecy News. I figured if she put the one up there, she put the other one up there, and I found it. This is another message given to Heaven's, Heaven's Shofar. You may have heard it on that channel where that sweet sounding young lady does these a lot of these and sometimes I just mirror hers but I prefer to read them myself because sometimes I want to add a little something only if I feel it is needed I try not to if thus the Holy Spirit is urging me I feel like wait a minute that needs a, a little clarification but that doesn't usually happen with these really good ones. All right, we'll see. All right, I've heard it. I read it. So now I'm reading it to you. It's titled, Are You Battle Ready? Are you, Bride? Are you battle ready? Okay, this was received on June the 17th. Well, dated June 17th at 1131 a.m. Heavens so far. All right, word received by Heaven's Shofar on 5-5-2020. The time is drawing near where we will be together. My remnant will be gathered very soon. Many believers from all walks of life all with different gifts and different things to contribute to this coming epic battle against the kingdom of darkness. You must all love and respect each other. Some of you will have different ranks in my end time army. Parentheses meaning some will be higher positions than others, closed parentheses. Now, whether she put that in or God did, I don't know. That does not mean I love more or some less than the others. It is all about your walk and how much of me you sought and found on your journey. Though I am no respecter of persons, I do respect, quote, free will, unquote, and your right to choose how much of me you actually let into your lives during your walk. Don't know why the quotes are around me. How much of me? I'm, I don't think God would have put them around there. But anyway, maybe so. Some have been at this much longer than others and have learned many, many things on their journey. These are my seasoned war generals who will lead and teach you what you need to know to be victorious when you conf confront your enemy in battle. I am your commander-in-chief who will, who of course will be with you every step of the way and never leave your side. I, too, will teach you many things in the days ahead. 
but my generals will also be in positions of leadership, and you should respect and obey them, parentheses, especially during combat, closed parentheses, exclamation mark. Follow their commands, for several of them have already been trained by me. They have submitted their lives to me and withheld nothing. I have refined them through the fires of affliction, and they now shine as, quote, pure gold, unquote. Isn't that wonderful? We shine as pure gold. The days ahead will not be easy, for there is much work to be done and much for you all to still learn from me, the Master, the Lord of hosts, the God of ancient armies. That is who you fight for. Remember, I won this battle many years ago at Calvary. Satan is a defeated foe. Everything now is just a formality. And then it's got dot, dot, dot. Prophecy being fulfilled to prove that I am not a liar and my word does not come back to me void. I am the Lord your God, creator of heaven and earth, worthy of of all praise be ready for very soon we will be together and you will behold my mighty power and majesty much greater will the works be that i will accomplish through you my beloved remnant you would not believe it even if you were told your commander-in-chief and messiah jesus the christ oh that is just so exciting i can hardly wait so there's lots of scriptures for there is no respecter of persons with god the lord thunders at the head of his army his forces are beyond number and mighty in the army that obeys his command the day of the lord is great it is dreadful. Who can endure it? Yeah, it will be dreadful for some people, most people. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. I will put all this in the description box so you'll have the references. Habakkuk. Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Hallelujah! That's going to be awesome. This last one, God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should char change his mind. Does he speak? and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Absolutely not. Heaven forbid. Okay, so I am going to end this here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and over all of our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.